Joining me now is Grace Sato. She leads the physiotherapy program at Dunghua College. That's in Hong Kong. She specializes in disorders linked to the use of computers and mobile devices. And, and Grace, there's a laundry list of those, isn't there? Yes, uh, this is uh, e-sport is a big problem, and uh, it is really becoming more common in, especially in Asian countries like China and uh, and Hong, including Hong Kong. Yeah, and it's not just confined. Uh, you know, in in Francis's story, we saw a lot of the the hands, uh, but but there's neck problems, uh, back problems associated with it. I mean, what are some of the long-term uh, issues that you can see? Do you think? Yes, uh, actually neck and shoulder problem is very common among people who use computers and mobile devices a lot. And the e-gamers would be uh, even a more vulnerable group because you're, they're always focusing on the screen, so they put their, ch uh, their chin forward, so the neck is in a static posture. The muscles tighten in the neck and shoulder region, and so that can give rise to neck and shoulder pain as well as headache. Now, the other uh, common problem is the hand, rapid hand motion in using the uh, uh, mouse and clicking on the keyboard. And that can cause inflammation of the tendons, as already mentioned in the case earlier uh, that was presented. And the third problem is sitting for long hours. So that could lead to low back pain and possibly sciatica, which means the compression of the nerve in the lumbar spine. So what are some of the resources available to try and combat some of the problems you just outlined? And, and what role do physical therapists play in all of this? Yes, uh, the resources would be uh, mainly to actually important to make use also of the internet and also uh, social media to let the young people know and also in schools to let them know that they need to be aware of their own postures and to have uh, uh, frequent rest. Actually, this has been the recommendation to office workers for many years, that every hour of computer work, you should take about five minutes rest and stand up and stretch and walk around. And actually, in offices nowadays, they also recommend uh, using the stand-up desk. So uh, um, e-gamers also need to be aware of this. Don't sit for hours at a time. They need to stand up and stretch. And also to be aware that are their sh shoulders really shrugged up? Are they really tense in their muscles? And they need to develop this self-awareness. Any uh, exercises you would recommend for gamers that they should be doing? Uh, you know, because we're looking at these hands, hands uh, that, that seems to be cramping up with these kids. I mean, are there certain things that they could be doing? Yeah, there, there are stretching exercises for the uh, hand and wrist muscles. They can uh, do it like this by flexing the wrist and then using the other hand to stretch and then turning over and stretching. And also the neck, they can do stretching exercises uh, by moving the neck in different directions. Uh, they, they need to do it very uh, frequently. That's the most important thing, not just to do once a day, maybe uh, at least several times a day. Of, uh, like I said, the best actually is uh, every one or two hours to do at least five to 10 minutes. Grace, talk to me about long-term health issues related to this. I mean, if, if people aren't maintaining the kind of exercises that you're talking about or getting the help that they need, I mean, what are we looking at? Because these kids start at such a young age, if they're doing this repetitively over years, I yes. mean, what, what could be the outcome? It, it can actually have serious health impact. For one thing, because they are always sitting down, they, they are actually leading a very sedentary lifestyle. So their cardiovascular fitness can be uh, very poor that they uh, can develop. And very often you may eat a lot also, and their obesity can be another issue. Actually, that is a common problem actually all around the world. Uh, the WHO actually uh, recommended that for young children, they also need to restrict the use of computers and mobile devices uh, every day, not to more, no more than two or three hours a day. Now, uh, for the e-gamers, they would be using, you know, 10 hours or more a day. So you can imagine, if they start as teenagers, uh, they may develop very, they have poor uh, uh, heart condition, and they, uh, over the period of time, they may develop all these, uh, like, high cholesterol, mm -hmm. uh, heart disease or high blood pressure, those uh, can be uh, very uh, uh, vulnerable uh, for these young people. Grace Sato, thanks so much for your advice. Uh, joining us live from Hong Kong, appreciate it.